Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. Bless the Lord. Welcome to the 30 Day Book Challenge. Come on in. Bless the Lord on today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We worship your Lord today. We magnify your name, God. We give you praise today, God. We bless you on today. Thank you, Jesus, for your glory, God. Thank you for what you're doing in this season. Hallelujah. We bless you today, Jesus. We magnify your name, God. Have your way in this place today, Jesus. God, have your way on today, God. For it's all about you, God. It's not about me, God. We thank you, God, that you're doing a new thing in this season, God. We bless you, God. Come on in, God. Come on, come on in. Come on in. There's a blessing attached to your warfare. You need to come on in today. Come on in and invite your followers. God is getting ready to speak expressively. I bless the Lord for your life. Come on in. Come on in. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. I bless you. I worship you today, God. Thank you, 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 Lord God. Come on in, guys. Come on in in the name of Jesus. 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 We bless you today, Lord Jesus. We bless you. Come on. Thank you for joining today. God bless your life, James. Hallelujah. Come on in today in the name of Jesus. Uh, God, we bless you today. We worship you, God. Hallelujah. Welcome to the 30-day book challenge. God wants you to know that there's a blessing attached to your warfare. So if I were you, I would come on in and I would invite your followers because there is a word from the Lord on today. Come on in here. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless you on today, God. Holy Spirit, we welcome you into this place in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. 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 Hallelujah. We worship you today, Jesus. We bless your name on today, Jesus. We glorify all your name on today, Jesus. We magnify you, Jesus. We come your We worship you, God. I worship you today. I magnify you today, God. I worship you in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, for today, God. You're worthy of the praise. You're worthy of the glory. You're worthy of the honor. God, we thank you. Thank you, God, for what you're doing in this season, God. But you are doing a great work in this season. Come on in, guys. Come on in, guys. Come on in. Welcome to the 30-day book. Tell you, I bless the Lord for your life. How's everyone doing today? Bless the Lord. Hope everyone has been writing. Hope everyone has been being productive. God bless you on today. God bless you on today. Thank you for joining. The Lord bless you on today. Welcome to the 30-day book challenge. I bless the Lord for your life today. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Go ahead and invite your followers to today. There's a word from the Lord for you on today. The things that you've been going through. How you doing today? The things that you've been going through. The Spirit of the Lord speaks expressly on today. Many of you have encountered warfare or you are currently in some type of circumstance, trial, or issue. But God says today, hold on and don't quit for there is a blessing attached to your warfare. Come on and give God some praise. The Spirit of the Lord says... Many of you on today, many of you have encountered warfare. You are currently in some type of circumstance, trial, or issue. But God says on today, to us on today, hold on and don't quit. But there is a blessing in your warfare. Now you ought to go ahead and give God some praise right there. There is a blessing attached to your warfare. There is a blessing attached to your trial. There is a blessing attached to your situation. Come on, somebody. There is a blessing attached to your circumstance. Praise the Lord, prophets. How you doing today? The Lord said there's a blessing attached to your warfare. Oh, God, the people are going through warfare. Encounter different circumstances, trials, and situations. But God says today, 
hold on, don't quit, but there is a blessing attached to your warfare. Now come on and give God some praise for that on today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I always encourage you to go ahead and invite your father. There is a powerful word from the Lord today. I'm telling you, God is about to release. He's about, I'm going to go ahead and say it. God's about to release money. God is about to release money. God's about to release wealth. And wealth is about to hit your house. Wealth is about to hit your home. I believe it on today in the name of Jesus. So you better go ahead and get ready and get ready and get ready to get into it. Get into it because God is about to move in a powerful way for the saints of God. And I will go stand out. This is for the saints of God. Those that's been praying and fasting. This wealth transfer is for the saints of God. Now come on and give God some praise for that on today. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and worship God for a few seconds. Come on and ask God to draw you a little more closer in this season. Come on and worship this for just a few seconds. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Take us deeper, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Welcome to 30 Day Book Challenge. Come on in, guys. Come on in. There's a word from the Lord. I'm so excited. There is a word from the Lord. God bless each and every one of you on today. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I bless the Lord for every one of you that's joined on the line today. The Lord is moving in a powerful way. I'm so excited about what God is about to do in your life. I'm excited about what God's about to do in my life. And I'm excited for what God is about to do in the body of Christ. The body of Christ is on a move. We're on a move in this end time. And God is doing a quick work. So we better get on board in the name of Jesus. For those of you who don't know me, I want to welcome each and every one of you to the 30 Day Book Challenge. I am yours truly, Minister James Benjamin. I am an author. I am a ordained minister. I am a business owner and I'm also a prophet of the Most High God. I am an end time prophet that God has called in this season. And my job is to cut, is to get the body of Christ ready for the return of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ is soon to come and we have to get ready. The Lord says, son, Prepare ye the way of the Lord for me. And I am committed to preparing the way of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I don't know about you, but I am going back on the first round. Come on and give God some praise today. This is the 30-day book challenge where our mission is to seek out creative souls who desires to prosper in the entertainment industry. God's desire his destiny is for us to prosper. And he said that you can prosper in the entertainment industry through the kingdom of God. God says, use your gifts, use your talents, use what he has given you to create wealth in the earth realm. And God is getting ready to use you so profound in this end time. Thank you for joining today, bud. Glory to God. We have a slogan here. Our slogan for the 30 day book challenge is use your power. God has given you the power. God has given you the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is your power. So use your power in this season and in this end time. Come on and give God some praise. Hallelujah. So the last time we were on, we were talking and I was, I was ministering on the mother of prostitutes. And now and how we should not prostitute our gifts. Come on, somebody. You are worth way more than this world can offer you. How many of you believe that? You are worth way more than this world can offer you. You are a gift from God. And God does not want us to devote our time to corrupt or an unworthy purpose. Come on, somebody. God has called you as a gift. And he does not want us to waste our time. He does not want us to waste our oil in this season. Come on. We have invested in too much in this oil. You have invested too much in your anointing. You have invested too much in your anointing. So God does not want us to waste our oil. And he does not want us to waste our time in this season. Come on, somebody. I highly recommend for you to go and view my last scope on the mother prostitutes. My God, my God, I recommend for you to go because there is a word for the Lord just for you. People say that this world doesn't have anything to offer, but I beg to differ. Come on, somebody. This world has a lot to offer. Satan took Jesus. Come on. Satan took Jesus on a very high mountain. 
and showed him all the kingdoms of this world in all of his glory. The enemy told Jesus, listen here, the enemy told Jesus, I would give you all these things on one condition. If you, Jesus Christ, the son of God, will fall down and worship me. Come on, this world has a lot of to offer. There's a lot to offer in this world, but God is saying, don't fall for it today. Don't fall for the treasures of this world. Jesus' response, come on, he responded to Satan when he was tempted. He responded to Satan, get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written. Come on, somebody. Listen here. The word hit Satan with the word. Did you catch that? Did you catch that? The word hit Satan with the word. Jesus Christ, the word made flesh, hit Satan with the word. For it is written and forever remains written. You shall not worship. You shall worship the Lord and serve him only. Come on, somebody. I declare and decree that on today that I and that you will serve and worship the Lord Jesus Christ only. Come on, somebody. Come on. I decree and declare that you and your family shall serve Jesus only. Only I pray right now for your unsaved, unbelieving loved ones that they encounter Jesus. Come on, somebody, give God some praise. Come on, somebody, give God some praise. God is getting ready to hit your house with an encounter of Jesus. There are people in your family that does not believe in Jesus. But God is saying on today that he is about to send the spirit of the living God to hit their house and they are about to get ready to encounter Jesus. I pray right now all over the nation that the people who have not, who do not believe in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ will have an encounter Encounter with Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining today, Sarah John. We are on the subject that there is a blessing attached to your warfare. The thing that you have been going through, the warfare that you've been in, God says, Keep going, keep holding, because there's a blessing coming your way. Come on, somebody. How many of you know? That there are people who have fell down and worship Satan for the kingdoms and the treasures of this world. How many of you believe that? There are actually people who have sold their soul to the devil for the kingdoms and the treasures of this world. Now, don't get it confused. I want my treasures not only in heaven, but I want my treasures here on earth. Because God desires for me to prosper. And I want to prosper in the name of Jesus. But I'm not getting ready to worship Satan for the kingdoms and for the treasures of this world. The devil is a lie. I will refuse to worship Satan for the kingdoms and the treasures of this world. Come on. I will worship Jesus. And he is going to. And come on now. I will worship Jesus. You need to declare. Declare over your life that you will worship Jesus. You need to, to declare over your family's life that they will worship Jesus. I will worship Jesus. And he is going to. Come on. And he is more than capable to give me the desires of my heart and then some. Come on. Come on. The Bible says that the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Period. If you look at that text, there's a period behind that won't. You shall not want, period. So if you believe in Jesus, he has the key and the power to give you your needs and your wants. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. I am hearing the spirit of the Lord say, don't sell your soul out. Come on, somebody. Matthew 6 and 19, 21 from the Amplified Version states, do not store up for yourselves. Listen here. Do not store up for yourselves material treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. Come on, somebody. But store up for yourselves 
treasures in heaven. Come on. Where neither moth nor rust destroys. And where thieves do not break in and steal. Come on. But where